week's vlog. I've um, already done an intro, but I'm restarting it because it's a massive change of plan. These last 24 hours has been so confusing, I can't lie. So basically, today we are going up to Pontus Pool for a cross-country lesson um, with Zara. And you guys might know Pontus Ball from back in February when I went there and done the arena eventing lesson with Tim Cheffings. If not, you might recognise it if you guys watch Life on the Left Rain, MD Eventing, because they go up there to event. Um, I've never been on the actual grass cross country. This is going to be my first time. Um, so yeah, it's going to be good. This is going to be my second ever time going there. We're moving guys, but I'm not putting my seatbelt on because I've got to shut the gate. Um, but yeah, so we've, I've wanted to go there for years and years and finally, today is the day. Now, I was meant to be going with somebody else who's from my riding club, um, but unfortunately her car went to the garage. It's failed its MOT and it needs a lot of work done and the garage couldn't get the car done for today. Now, obviously, if we was able to take her horse, we so would have. No questioning, but our car is just not man enough to pull another horse, especially as her horse is bigger than Danny. Just can't, like, it struggles to pull Dan. So there's no way we would even get there. Um, so yesterday, she spent the whole day ringing up her friends, seeing if she could borrow a truck to put insurance on so that she could get herself there, because obviously she has her own trailer. Um, but everybody's working, because today it's Wednesday, and obviously it's a, week a weekday. Um, so everybody's working so she hasn't been able to borrow like a car or a truck or anything like that and then um someone who we actually know and who sarah knows um he has a lorry and a truck we wanted to see if we could borrow the truck um but we can't because you've got to obviously have insurance on it but the insurance company doesn't open until 10 o'clock and we already need to be on the road by then so that's a big no um, and then we was like, we're going to take the lorry. Sarah can't drive the lorry, but my mum is able to drive the lorry because we actually used to have a seven and a half ton lorry. Um, but we mainly used our trailer. Well, we literally did, but we did have a lorry. Um, and my mum's able to drive the lorry places. So then that was the plan. And um, he has insurance so anybody can like drive it over 25. So that was the plan. So Dan was going to go in the lorry and then we was going to go and pick Sarah up with her horse. So this is where I started the vlog guys, where we were on our way to go pick the lorry up this morning. Well, we got there. <laughs> the lorry is seven and a half ton and it is massive. So my mum was able to drive the lorry, but she had a go to see and um, it literally shot for it. And she was like, I can't, because basically it's actually a 12 ton lorry, but the man had it cut down or something to seven and a half. I'm not really sure, but it's zooped right up. Like it can take three big shire horses and it goes fast. And there's just no way, especially as my mum hasn't driven a lorry for like 10, 15 years, to go up onto the motorway with two horses with them never being on the lorry before. Or pretty sure Dan would have just gone straight up on there and he would have been fine but it's a big responsibility having someone else's horse on there and also Danny when not used to using the lorry and things and it just it was just not a good idea um so we decided not to drive the lorry and then the man is free today so he was then gonna take his lorry go and pick Sarah up take her to Pontus Ball, and then we was gonna go in our truck and trailer so then that would have been all fine because obviously he's used to drive his own lorry um, and then he decided that he didn't want to do it today. So we've had to tell Sarah, which we feel just absolutely awful. Um, she was so looking forward to it. She's meant to be competing this weekend as well. So it was like a setup for her. Because obviously she can't go, but we feel so, so bad. Um, and if there was any other way for her to have come, we would have like, we've been trying. Um, but unfortunately, it's just not meant to be. So it does mean that I'm going to be going up on my own, um, which will be good. So we've just picked up the trailer now. We're leaving at 10 o'clock. We're allowing ourselves for two hours. My lesson doesn't start until half past 12, um, but we're going to get there for 12 o'clock and I don't have to rush to tack up or anything like that. So we're just on our way back up to the stables now. I'm going to get him in, get him brushed, get him ready, get loaded and get on the road. I think poor old Zara, she's been a bit confused because I let her know yesterday that probably not going to be happening. And then I was like, no, it is happening. Like it's sorted. And I was like, no, I'm not sure now. 
and then I messaged her last night and I was like I think it's going well I'll let you know in the morning and then this morning I was like it's going ahead and I messaged her when both of us was gonna come and now obviously it's just me but I did tell her yesterday if the worst comes that like, I will be coming on my own without Sarah but we were hoping that Sarah would obviously be able to come but that isn't the case so let's get up to the stables get Dan in and get him ready so with Dan now I'm going to take his fly rug off give him a good old brush and um, put his cross country boots on because that's what he's going to be travelled in um I've brought his dry rug with me today not sure if he's going to be needing it though because it's like it's quite a warm day but when I went dressage a few weekends ago I didn't bring a rug with me and I felt so guilty thanks Dan <laughs> I felt so guilty because it was actually really cold luckily I remembered to bring a lightweight um but it's just because we're going further away it could be a different temperature up there but I don't think I'll travel him in that rug but if you haven't already guessed today guys that I am wearing the ice blue base layer with obviously the nun net ears and hat silk which it is the Lemur one this is actually my first ever Lemur colour I ever got with Dan and this was meant to be my only cross-country colour but then I got a little bit carried away and let's say obsessed with the colours of Lemur just a little obsessed just a little which you guys might have already have guessed i got a little bit of carried away with collecting the numbers which is just ridiculous um and now this is not my only cross-country color but i do love it so i thought i would wear it today this is the boot currently at the moment i'm hoping i've got everything i've got my back protector which is important my hat obviously saddle oh half pad which is important so I've got to jump in that um and yeah so got, I'm just getting out my cross country boots now which you guys have all seen it's just a Lemur rubber over each boot to rub him when we go in the water and then his pro shell these are his back ones and then ooh, these are the front ones and obviously I've got my brushes to brush him now Dan is all brushed brush his tail I only actually brush his tail when we go out in the trailer just because I don't like brushing it like every day or when I ride at home because it, it strips out their tail and Dan's tail's got so much thinner than when I got him um so I only like to brush it literally if we're competing or if we're going somewhere out in the trailer but when we're at home I just don't bother um obviously while I do brush it I put the mane and tail through and then I just brush it and then like been brushed obviously for today and then i'll leave it now until the next time we go out in the trailer it's just yeah it's just basically healthier for the tail but i know some people like they still do brush their horse's tail every day because they don't like to see it all tangled up or see it in shavings i've got to admit i hate seeing his tail covered in shavings but i'm like we're just going out along the roads and i'd rather him have thanks dan i would rather him have a nice tail than me keep stripping it out by brushing him just to get like shavings out and stuff so yeah should we put your boots on dan he says yep good boy we are officially done cross country boots on ignore the stable guys because we leave the stable door open and it's a real mess because they've been in all night i'll sort that once we come get home but um yeah it's really weird because for the last few weeks when we've been going out obviously we've only been doing showing or dressage um i haven't had to put boots on him like brushing boots or anything like that because you're not allowed to wear them so it's really strange today putting boots on him before we go isn't it good boy but yes we are all ready now fly spray in the trailer which we always keep in the trailer anyway but i'm gonna put that on him um, once we get there and like I said everything's all in the car and so we're down everything's in the car and we've done the halogen net for the trailer so we're all ready to go now it's just a loaded map which I think we'll be leaving in about 10 minutes I reckon so yeah all good <laughs> Despite the loss, I'm over here, gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment meant for us. 
And now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me Shadow and me are one Oh, oh, the sky is on fire The lake has turned to a golden sun Down, basically, oh, felt like the jockey wheel was down, so we've just pulled in, but we've got to turn around and then we're back out onto the main road. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment meant for us, and now you made it. We are here, guys, you might recognize it from my vlog, but there's the sign. We actually come in a different way today because we missed out the motorway whereas last time we went over the motorway, up the motorway, there's the cross country fences. Um, so yeah, so it's actually taken us longer this time, it's taken us exactly two hours. We wanted to get here for 12 o'clock which we have, um, but if we was on the motorway I reckon we would have been here about half an hour ago which we would have only been stood around so it's not really like the end of the world but it was another we cut off at Tiverton and it was like 45 minutes away from Tiverton. So yeah, we've just got to go all the way along here. And then I'm not sure, I think we'll park on the grass again. We'll see once we get closer. So we're here guys. And the weirdest thing ever is so strange, right? The people from where we keep the trailer, they've come here as well at their lorry. That is so strange. I was like, I recognise that lorry and trailer and it turns out they're literally up the road from us to keep their horses. Anyway, Dan's here, Zara's not here yet, but I've got a good 20 minutes to get tied up, which shouldn't take that long. Ooh, Hello, Dan. Good boy, you've been here before, but we just haven't parked in this spot. Dan's all ready, so I'm just gonna, the half pad looks wrong, but it is on, right? Um, I'm just gonna get myself ready now. Good boy. I'm on guys, we're all ready to go, Zara's just messaged so she's on the hard standing down by the arena which is down there. So I'm going to hack down there and see her. There's only two others out on course which is like who I know anyway and then it's just going to be me. But yeah. <laughs>
guys i actually jumped the log that you guys saw earlier and the pheasant feeder um but zara stayed at the top while i went round because it was in a separate field but obviously it wasn't filmed because it was the other side of like those trees um so i jumped them dan jumped them amazingly he jumped them both first time and then i come back round to come over the roll top which i'll leave it now with music we jumped the bigger roll top this time So many years has gone by But I 
I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all Guys, it's made me come all the way up here From there to just go for a wee Like I really don't want to do it directly around the trailer But we were over there But nope, it made me walk Fair enough, Dan Good boy, you've been such a good boy Very happy with you we gonna go? Don't eat that, that's chopped hay. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No. That's the end of Pontesport. Now we've got to decide which way we're going home. If we're going home the way we come in, which is like more laneified, or if we're gonna go out onto the motorway make that decision so guys you might remember the Pontus full vlog last time we had to come over the train railway so obviously it's flashing for the train coming which you guys will see in a minute um but when we come here because it was our first time last time we was like who would why would someone like an equestrian place make us come over a train track like that's just stupid why would you do that we can't be in the right place but we are in the right place but we didn't come over this way because we come from a different direction this is out to the motorway now we're now home guys we actually unloaded on the hill because we're going to take this trailer straight back and then dan naked just for a little bit so you can go out and have a roll because he doesn't actually go out naked so we can go out, have a nice little roll, and then when we come back out to like sort them out a little bit later on, I will um, put his fly rug on. And yeah, but he's been such a good boy. He's so thirsty. By the way, guys, we have um, we have offered him water, but he's really funny. He normally, when we're out and about, he doesn't like to drink um, the water. He's strange. Sometimes he will, and sometimes he won't. But today he didn't. But I did offer him. It. Um, but I'm just going to take the trailer back because my mum's currently literally parked up the road so sort the trailer out and then I think we're going to get something to eat because we actually haven't eaten anything all day and it's 20 past four I mean we've had like a few digestive biscuits but that's all we've had all day and I'm not gonna lie I feel so lethargic so I'll do my debrief in two seconds for you guys a little bit later on now guys from when i last spoken to you we've gone and got something to eat trailer's got gone back we're now back at the stables to sort them out give them their food etc so it's probably a good two two and a half hours that was little dawny just sat here now with dan while he's eating his haylage before i would debrief with dan the man because obviously it's all about us today in this vlog isn't it hey all about you i should say not me you were the epic boy, wasn't you? But honestly, guys, you would have seen the footage. Now, he was very, very lazy today. Like, from the minute of, like, me warming him up, he was so, like, lethargic. I honestly have no idea why. Like, he gets ridden every single day. Like, normally he's forward and things. But today, I mean, bearing in mind, it was very hot today. And um, the ground was perfect because we've had so much rain. But it wasn't, like, slippery. It was just perfect how we wanted it. Um, and yeah it was quite warm but obviously it was a two hour journey now the last time we went it didn't take us two hours and it doesn't right the, the, the reason why it took us two hours is because we didn't go on the motorway we went like it wasn't back lanes but it was just, it was on an actual main road but it was like quite twisty and things so it made it a lot longer than if we went straight up the motorway we should have just gone straight up the motorway like we did last time um but we didn't so it took us exactly two hours um but on the way home we come back on the motorway just because it wasn't very nice for dan doing like the sharp bends because there was lots of them and it took us we were back in like an hour and a half so there's half an hour difference so um we'll definitely be going up in the motorway in future it was a lesson learned not to go that way um so i don't know whether because believe it or not you guys might not believe this but you know traveling it does tire horses out because yes they are only stood there but they've got to balance on the trailer like going around corners and you know it is quite tiring for them like we think it's not because they just stood there and they can munch away and things but it generally is um and 
I don't know, we don't really do long journeys like we have today, not very often, because we're very lucky, like my local venue, Coxie, which is where I mainly go, we're only 20 minutes away, and then like Southcott's about 45 minutes away from us, so the longest we probably go is Down Farm, which takes us an hour, but we don't really go up the motorway or, um, you know, to Pontesport very often or to venues that are like two hours or longer, um, so he might find it more tiring than you know um any other horses if they're used to traveling long distance um but yeah he was such a good boy but he was i don't know why he was so tired but he was just very lethargic and i had to really like ride him to just get him to go forward and get him into that nice rhythm because at hunter sport all of the jumps they are obviously solid but they are quite beefy for the height they're quite wide as well and i need to get him going forward towards them because a he'll just stop with me but not only that he needs to have that forwardness to get him up over the jumps because they are wide and obviously we don't want him having an injury. He's got the scope, but he needs to be travelling forwards to get him up over the jumps because they are wide and they are quite chunky. Um, so, yeah, really, I was so tired, honestly, guys. He just, he wore me right out. My legs were going just to get him to actually go forward. And um, he was absolutely epic. I mean, everything I pointed him at, he jumped which is just amazing because some of the jumps he's like I've never done with him before and we've never seen um but yeah he was honestly epic um we've done this brush which you guys would have seen and it was just incredible it was wide and he just locked on you can see with his ears ears for it he just locked onto it I just love putting it in slow-mo I'm so sad like that watching back my footage and putting it in slow-mo when he jumps it amazingly but yeah I'm super chuffed with how he went today um it would have been nice if he went a little bit more forward with me and then I wouldn't have had to work so hard that's just me being lazy but he really did it's so weird because the last time I went cross country he was so forward I was focusing on like bringing him back slower because he was going too fast towards the fences and today it was just trying to get him to wake him up but I'm gonna give him the benefit of doubt that it was hot today and he might have been tired traveling but yeah you were epic wasn't you such a good boy and he definitely loves cross country it's definitely my favorite i just seem to have a lot more confidence out in the cross country course and i just absolutely love it and strangely exactly the same for dan you'd think show jumping we would be more confident with but honestly no cross country we're so much more confident i'm so so buzzing with him um can't wait to get out again i've got to say though in future when we go out cross country wherever whether it's pontus ball southcott wherever we go I need to um, have like a group lesson because with me on it's on my own, it's very, I know I sound really pathetic, but oh God, it's so tiring because you're constantly going all of the time and you don't really have that much of a breather. Whereas obviously if you're in a group with like three or four, you've got to stop and wait for the rest to go around their jumps and then come back. So you have that little bit of breather for yourself and for your horse. Whereas today it was just go, go, go kind of thing, which it is a good thing, but god i'm so unfit guys it's actually so embarrassing i was like to zara i was like i've just got to have a breather a minute but i think i was even more tired than what i normally would be because i was working to get him going forward whereas normally he is forward and i never have to worry about keeping him going whereas today i really did and another thing i'm so buzzing about we come to this water it was like water and then there was these jumps and banks and everything and i was just thinking to myself oh my god i'm so tired now I know what he does and you guys do as well. He'll go into the water and he'll just stop and splash and it's so hard to get him out. And I was thinking to myself, I am so tired. I've literally got zero energy, any weight. For me to just try and get him out of that water is just gonna be so bad. But honestly, the first time we went into the water, he kind of stopped, but he didn't splash. Zara got me to do like zigzags with him. So he was constantly concentrating on doing the zigzags and we got him through it without him splashing. And then I come around again and I got him really cantering. We popped over the log, went into the water. I think he might've broken to trot, but he kept going, popped over the jump. And then I come round over the bank. I went too steep and then we didn't get, we did have one stop and that was at the log right at the top, which you guys would have obviously seen. And that was because I come up the wrong bit of the hill and I didn't get him going forward enough. And we wasn't going forward enough for him to jump the jump because I don't know how well you can sit on the camera, but it is quite wide and then, 
he just couldn't jump it from how slow he was going so we just come back round and i went up the actual correct side of the bank and then he jumped it and he was just incredible and then we come back round and i actually canted him through the water um and then we come up the right side of the bank and he jumped it so that isn't down at all that was just me doing the dodgy line and also not getting him forward enough going up there but how amazing that he went through the water without splashing today that is just incredible guys but yeah we also um there was one more field to go in and literally it was only a tiny field the next field it just had um like a trailer that we would have been able to jump but the rest of them were quite big um so we missed out that field because he was just so tired i was so hot he just jumped so well we was like let's just end it here so we stopped and then i actually thought because i've never obviously been there before i took it there was like a few more fields to walk through but there wasn't it was literally one more field which was tiny and it literally had a trailer in that we would have been able to jump because the rest were like 90 or more um but yeah i'm just so chuffed with him and then we took him back uh, washed him off, made sure he had a drink, and then he hand grazed, which you guys would have seen, and then we made our way home. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog. If you have, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, definitely going to try out and get out to more cross country, especially as the ground is just perfect at the moment. I've got a few other things with plan planned with Dan for the next few weeks, which is non-jumping. Um, but apart from that, yeah it's gonna be good and we'll have to get out and go cross country but definitely when i go cross country next time if i have a lesson definitely gonna make sure there's enough people in a group but if i just go on my own without a lesson like it's fine just me on my own um because i can like walk around and things but yeah it's been so 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 good super happy with dan um and for now guys i'll just see you next time bye out. be free